Okay, for this next video, I'm going to show you how to run Linux inside of Windows. So we're going to need some software first. So we're going to go ahead and go to Google and type in VirtualBox because it's free, it's lightweight, and not only that, it's really easy to use. So it's going to be virtualbox.com, in case you don't want to go to Google. You're going to go to download. And if you got a 64-bit edition CPU, then download the 64. If not, download the 86. If you're not sure which one to download, download the 86 because the 86 will run on 64-bit processors and 32. You also have a Mac version of it and Linux flavors. But we're going to go ahead and use Windows and run Linux. So you're going to go ahead and click this to download. I'm going to cancel it because I already have it downloaded. Because this tutorial gets pretty long. So we're going to cancel that. But after you get it to download, then you can install it. Just click Next a bunch of times and you'll install. So now I'm going to go ahead and open it up. As you can see, I already have a Linux operating system on there. What you can do is if you need a Linux operating system, let's go back to Google and type in Linux distros search and then go to distrowatch.com and now you can just go ahead and look all around. There's different Linux versions on here at this scale if you a description of what the Linux version is that's currently on the site. This is a Unix base. Linux is based off of Unix, but that's Unix. But you can find a bunch of different kinds. This is the one we're going to use. So all you have to do is click this, and it'll take you right to there. And you go right to the website and download it for free. Download. Linux is a free operating system. So all you have to do is pick what you want to download, and download it, and there you go. But since I already have it downloaded, I'm going to cancel it. And it'll download it as an ISO. So once you get it downloaded, now you got your virtual box, and now you got your operating system. Let's go ahead and go New. And you're going to go click Next. Type in the name. And then, if you're not sure what kernel you're running or what operating system, you can just go ahead and leave it unknown. But I know we're going to run the 2.6 kernel. It's good to leave the, the recommended size of your memory. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that as 256. And this is to create a hard drive, which is really neat. Go ahead and click Next. Dynamically expand means that your hard drive is not one size. You can make it a one gig, and if you install this onto this virtual hard drive and it needs more space, it automatically gives that file more space for your virtual hard drive. Fixed spaces, if you wanted one gig, it only gets one gig, it will max out. So we usually use dynamically. We'll go ahead and move this down to about. 900 megabytes. I'll keep the name the same for the image of the hard drive. And you can always delete the hard drive later on. So that's no problem. And there's our hard drive. Here's all of our information the name, the kernel, the hard drive, the, mid, the RAM. Now we have to mount an image. You can put a CD or a DVD in here and you click mount and then you can select the drive where your CD is. But if you have an image file like I do, I'll just click ISO. And I'll go to search for it. As you see, I have it in there, but you, what you will do is add, select your ISO, go OK. I already have it mounted, so it'll give me an error. But it'll pop up right there. As you can see, you can also run Vista inside an operating system. I'm running Windows XP Professional, so I could run Vista and install it and run both operating systems at once. And there's Ubuntu, but we're going to run PC Linux. 
Okay. Now we got PC Linux. We'll go ahead and enable the sound. Enable sound. You can enable USB, you can enable all this going through it. I also like to go to general and add more video memory because it makes things a little bit prettier. Now let's go ahead and start this. There we go. Boots up like a champ. This blue box right here, as you can see, my mouse can move in and out of it. Once I click in that blue box, I can't move out of that blue box no more until I hit the right control. That unlocks my mouse from the operating system. So here we go, everything's booting up. Nice and slowly. PC Linux. This is a good tool to use if you want to check out an operating system or install it without formatting or FDisk in your hard drive. This will safely test the software or the operating system you want to try before you actually go direct and using it. Like me, I had Vista installed. I did not like it, so I had to put Windows XP back on it. Luckily, I didn't have XP before and then put Vista on it, or I would have been really, you know, yeah. This is pretty crappy. But this is a good thing. If you want to try Vista out, run this, install Vista, try it out. If you don't like it, there's no damage to your computer. All right, so now we're here. There's the login right there. We'll go ahead and type in the login. So it's root, root. Now let's give it a little login. There's my mouse cursor right there. I unlock it so I can move this so you guys can see everything. It's loading up. About to hear some pretty sounds. And this is pretty sounds. This is Linux inside Windows. So you do a bunch of things. It's a full operating system running right now. It's pretty fun. This will, if you want to learn Linux, this would be a good way to do it without harming anything. install it on your virtual hard disk too. So I'm going to go ahead and hit control. As you can see, you can mount devices automatically like that. You put a thumb drive on there. It'll plug and play. It'll work perfectly. You can also get on the internet through here. Go full screen if you want. Control F will get you out of full screen. Reset, shut down. I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm just going to power it off. But that's the tutorial I have on you for VirtualBox and run Linux inside Windows. If you have any other tutorials you'd like to see, send me a message or post a comment. Alright, thanks.